another uh, quick update of my tank. Um, this is like a full shot, and I've now finally going gone ahead. Uh, I'll just give you a sort of a quick overview of the tank. First, really starting to like the look of the aquata behind there. This is spindle leaves don't really have good color, but uh, otherwise very nice grows. Next job is going to be uh, taking out some of those little tower. They're definitely getting too long now, so if anybody wants to buy some, contact me. Uh, those really barren uh, branches up there, they started to kind of bother me. Don't look so good from here, but I just attached some rickia to it. Uh, kind of said that that stuff doesn't make any roots to permanently attach itself to it, but uh, I just uh, held it, holding it in place at the moment with um, with uh, some staples, and I added a few more of the sword tails too. Really liking those uh, those koi sword tails under the um, uh, wig aqua lights. So this is the big replant. Uh, I replaced the entire carpet, ripped out the old one, and replanted mostly Celania and in the middle some uh, tenellas and but what most of what you can see there is all the roots from those big sword plants in the back and also from the uh, ar in the front here so i'm hoping i planted enough of that but we'll see how it goes actually um uh, just uh, i was going to mail order the uh Selandia for a better price, but then Hollywood Fish Farm just had it lying around the other day and uh, Seeing that I wanted to get this job done Just couldn't resist wasn't all that bad uh, Two bunches for nine dollars. Well, There's quite a few plants in one of those bunches. So here we are This is the uh, Selandia still in the nice and then right here in front of the um, the card of mine there we're switching over there into the Tenalas, so this is going to be like a bit of a competition. If one of them grows better and the other one not so good, then uh, I might just get rid of one and go all with the other. We'll see how that goes. And then I also always like to have some of the um, that um, Hydrocotyl. I don't really know how to pronounce that in English. Somebody needs to explain it to me at some stage. Um, in there to sort of uh, those round leaves and sort of look like little mushrooms kind of like that look and i got rid of most of the java moss but there's some places it's a bit of dirt in there but other than that i think that looks fine no algae in there and uh, just a quick rundown also um, i'm having uh running a um let me see if we can see it in the corner i here have an eheim uh um, 260 with one of those uh, Quanwe um, uh, CO2 diffusers, inline CO2 diffusers on there. I'm really liking that. And what I actually did is I have pipe lying under the uh, substrate in this tank. You can see one outlet there. And then uh, there's another one here. And that's like a whole dozen of them are so spread around the tank to come out. Eventually, there should be. Um, covered by the carpet I could actually put some substrate over there but I mostly left them open now so to be able to show them and I initially didn't really think it was working too well I was actually uh, in the process of replacing them when I just because I thought they wouldn't come all that far they were just coming out over there but then I put a plant in front of that one there which is like really see and you can see how that plants uh, flowing in the breeze there so there's definitely some coming out here so I'm actually having, even so, the uh, filter is all the way over there. Uh, I still have CO2 coming out over here. And I think this is going to be the end of my video because my wife's coming home and the dogs are going to be crazy. Uh, thanks a lot for listening. Bye-bye.